Justin Sussman here reporting for iFilm.com. Of course, as you can see, we are in front of the wonderful Roxy Music Theater on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Today, we are here to interview the head-banging, hard-twanging, honky-tonkin', punk-rockin' Hank Williams III. Just in case you've been living under a rock for the last 50 years, Hank III comes from the most prestigious bloodline in country music history. So let's just cut it and go say what's up to this country music gentleman. For those of y'all that have never seen us before, we need to touch and sit first. That hell don't even know. And that's Jack as the light goes on. Straight to hell. Let's dive into it. Let's talk about ah, the new record. Okay. If we can. We finally got a little more control uh, of what we are and what we say and what we do. So 100% control of the art and the music. We basically got a CD that's got all the super pickers on it on the first one. Uh, we did it ourselves. We recorded it on a $500 machine. Um, very hands-on, me, Andy Gibson, Joe Buck. Did it in a small room. A month of recording, a month of mixing, and, uh, you know, finally wrapped it up. So, uh, the second CD, I made it for the true fans that really dig deep or will hold the seek button down for you know two minutes or whatever it's kind of ambient it's got weird noises sound effects and just me and my acoustic guitar and a tape recorder so i always say i made i made it for fun basically just to say i know there's nothing else on music row that's coming out like this country music association cd or whatever that whole bible belt thing Curb only wants 10 songs, you know, so I'm giving, you know, I'm trying to get 25 out the door real quick. But we, we go through a few different uh, sounds at our show. The country set, the damn band, then the uh, hellbilly set, 25 minutes is like Reverend Horton Heat with a little more attitude. Still got the stand-up bass, the steel, and the fiddle. And then we do the ash jack. It's where the stink face comes out and you get, you get all mad. Tell us, uh, for people that don't know, who who is who is Ash Jack? Ash Jack is just the the harder side of the band, and it just comes from my granddad on my mom's side of the family used to race jumping mules. So I always thought that was the most creepiest thing hearing those uh, mules sound off at night. <laughs> rock fans are snobby yes metal fans are really snobby yes and country fans are really really uh, snobby rednecks right so how do you how, kind of how do you let that slide off of you when you know you're kind of you know saying you're country and you're not country you're not the real deal you are the real deal how do you you know comparing you obviously you know to you know your father and your grandfather how do you deal with that I uh, that goes back to the comments or whatever if somebody's thinking Hank Sr. is rolling over my grave or doing this the whole show you know it, it, I'll take it if a punk rocker throws five beers at me I'll take it you know I'll just get up there and do my thing and I'm I got the patience that I'll talk to you no matter if you got bad stuff to say or good stuff to say I'll take it there and it takes a good bit to get me really going but I've always been, uh, I guess I got a nice side patient. I got some patience in me, man. I hate to say that, but it happens. You know, there's some guys, if a beer hits them, they're walking off the stage. Fuck yo, it's over. I've seen the rednecks get mad on the kind of music we're playing. When we're playing the boot scoot, uh, two, four dance clubs, they're there to dance. They're not there to see a live band. You know, that's where I had to fight and fight and fight to get the respect of the rock clubs. This is Hank 3 and you're watching I Film. Just like my country. 